So I'm sure as everyone knows by now, since it's been close to over 24 hours, Roman Reigns has just won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and it was awesome. Like, Reigns had just come out with a huge surge of momentum, beating the holy hell out of the League of Nations, granted that possibly had destroyed any ounce of remaining credibility they had, though, since they lost a 4-on-1 match, they had nothing to begin with, so basically this doesn't really matter. And he beat the living life out of the CEO of the company. Roman Reigns headed into Raw with the obvious, so oh, he's most likely going to get fired or suspended, though most, fire, most likely fired is one thing. Um, and WWE around this time has been known to do fire angles because they think that will repeatedly sell tickets. And it certainly looked like that, especially when you got the tyrant of WWE the true tyrant of the management, the oppressor of the NXT guys, Vince McMahon. I would also add in Kevin Dunn, but uh, he's never on TV, so I can't get the satisfaction of what happened to Vince happens to Kevin Dunn. Uh, <laughs> um, so Roman Reigns is, it confronts Stephanie McMahon. He's, his, his promo in this, in this episode of Raw was just simply good because he didn't really speak much. He just smiled... And snarled as much as he could, and and Stephanie repeatedly slapped him, and Roman Reigns just shrugged it off. And Stephanie said, "Well, Vince McMahon's gonna say something about this." And I was like, "Okay, shit's about to get real. Vince McMahon's back after an over a year, and the last time he was here, the authority was out of power for about a month." Seriously, they should say that after the Royal Rumble. But moving on. Um, Vince McMahon shows up and he goes ahead and threatens to fire Roman Reigns unless he apologizes. And I was like, when Vince McMahon was taking off his suit, I was like, okay, yes, 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 beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. I was like all for because after everything Roman Reigns had to go through because of Vince's out of touch stupidity, I would say, okay, beat the holy hell out of him. You pretty much deserve it. And like Cesaro also deserves it because because Vince is stupid. But um, yeah, beat the holy hell out of him. I don't care. And Sheamus comes out and makes it for the and makes a match for the WWE title and Vince McMahon. Uh, kind of got the last laugh in that segment where he kicked Roman Reigns in the groin, and I was like, what was the point of that? Like, did they just bury Roman Reigns right there because he can't punch a 70-year-old man on TV because then it would look like battery and assault? I mean, like, you had John Cena beat up Jon Stewart for a very validated reason because everyone hates him. So... What was so different about this is because Jon Stewart's younger than Vince. Okay. So then we get to Roman Reigns versus Sheamus, and it's a much better match. It was much more great, and, you, and like especially how Raw was overall, except for the mid-car match where Vince McMahon just ultimately just dismissed them because they're, in, they're a little sheep to him, and he can do whatever he wants because he's the boss. Poor Archie and Bo Dallas. I remember a time when our truth was part of Awesome Truth, and Bo Dallas was the inspirational leader and the NXT champion. <sighs> so far, so little. Okay, so Sheamus and Roman Reigns are at it. Reigns McMahon is outside the ring watching in the sea, and they're fighting, and Roman Reigns almost gets this last laugh, but Vince McMahon stops the referee from making the third call and distracts the referee. And the League of Nations without Wade Barrett because Wade Barrett's injured right now, as it got reported, um, right before TLC actually. And to and like okay, like okay, any League of Nations credibility is already gone, so basically there's no point in caring about them and their momentum. And Rory knocks them out and goes back after Sheamus, and then the greatest moment in WWE history was. Vince McMahon gets punched in the face by Roman Reigns. <laughs> oh, yes. That was awesome. That was simply awesome. I was like, hashtag, thank you, Roman. Because if you called that a career, I would have called it. Because you don't get that privilege anymore to see the boss get beaten up. And especially someone who's lost his mind. Senile-like. 
And especially after the crap Vince McMahon gave Roman Reigns, like uh, stupid corny promos, uh, exposition promos to treat the audience like idiots, uh, the prejudice against NXT guys, and Roman Reigns is an NXT guy. Yeah, I say this was w well long coming. I was waiting for this for a year now. So, like, it was awesome. And Roman Reigns then speared Sheamus, and we got one, two, three, and it was surprising. I think this was the first world WWE World, WWE world title change, unless you count the big gold belt being changed back in 2013. The last time the WWE title changed hands was in 2011, I think, with Rey Mysterio and John Cena, because John Cena is the face that runs the place, so uh, no questions asked. So now the question now looms, what's next for Roman Reigns, and what's next for the WWE title? Um, there's a lot of reports going around by Sean's V Entertainment that said, oh, well, they're considering having Roman Reigns defend his belt in, a 30, in the 30-man Royal Rumble match, which I feel like, nah, I don't think that's going to happen. And, and then there's, like, participants like The Undertaker, Triple H, John Cena, Brock Lesnar competing in the Royal Rumble and ultimately winning it to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Yeah, start to notice that now is going to part timers again, and and also like Sheamus possibly wants revenge. So Roman Reigns just got this big moment, and to be honest, it was more surreal when I found out this is the same city, the same arena that booed him out of the building at Royal Rumble late this early this year, and now they're cheering for him, praising him, like they're fi like they're finally glad. Roman Reigns is the guy they want him to be, not what corporate wanted him to be. This John Cena clone. So now, I hope all things go up from here. Like, my expectations are hopefully high for Roman Reigns and what he's going to do. Like, there's word going around that he might be the one that surpasses uh, CM Punk's title reign. And so long as they book it correctly, I'll be all for it. So there's that. So I really thought this was a surreal, great moment. And especially dedicated to his daughter, daughter since it was her birthday that night. Um, like, okay, let's take, basically sum up this. He beat up Vince McMahon, he beat Sheamus and won the world title, and his daughter, and his daughter got the best birthday gift ever. Yep, I call it a night. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, uh, the, the arena that booed him out of the building now is praising him and giving him a standing ovation. Yeah, I call it a night <laughs> after that. So now we just need to see what's going to happen from here and now, from the here and now to the future, and see what's in store for Roman Reigns as world champion. Things can only hopefully go up from here, right? Hopefully? Hopefully. Well, everyone, this was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate, and stay tuned for more.